Lori Tom, these hands. These hands have held my one and a half pound baby and lifted a 45 pound backpack filled with gear for two weeks and put on earrings that were my great grandma Aisley's, never taken off until my baby finally came home from the hospital. They have reached down into the Grand Canyon where I felt the oldest exposed rock on earth and muddy rushing water that pulled our raft through the wild rapids. They have worked side by side with beloved teachers, Barb, Suzanne, Leslie, and Stacy, as we help students discover their voices. These are the hands that embrace my husband and daughter, communicating warmth, security, and faith without words, helping us know down to our bones that we are loved. These hands have learned to rise when I have questions, to clasp when I hope for answers, and to hold on for dear life when the ride gets too wild. These hands hold stories. These hands are mine. Sue Tittle, these hands. These hands have held my first grandson, slippery and warm from birth and lifted used furniture and boxes of books with my husband to move into our first home, and held hands with my parents, children, and grandchildren to safely cross busy streets. They have reached down into the earth in my backyard to feel the warm, fertile earth and kept beds watered and weeded so plants could flourish and grow. They have worked side by side with my cousin and my daughters as we sorted the treasured belongings of family members who have passed on and shared our memories of dark days and the many, many bright ones. These are the hands that hold the wisdom and lessons of 72 years as well as the promise of the future as I hug my grandsons now on the cusp of manhood. These hands have learned how to work, to persevere, to be kind and loving with a smile to share. These hands hold stories. These hands are mine. Lorraine Hoffman, these hands. These hands have held my dying canary nugget who weighed only an ounce and whose songs uplifted my heart for six years and lifted boxes of books I can't bear to part with. And they've held my three newborn babies, two boys, one girl, the first of my husband's family in 100 years. They've reached down into the earth at Hawthorne, California where I fed the icky cabbage worms and the garden soil inside a garden box where I was trying to grow veggies and learn how to live more back to basic. They've worked side by side with my husband Ken and cleaned engine parts on our first year anniversary as we built our 67 Mustang fastback and cooked Thanksgiving dinner for our family. These hands that hold fast uh, to hope and loyalty of my 37 year marriage and helped hold up my husband more and more as he tires out more easily. These hands have learned to steal the good times and transform the bad by raiding them out until they feel, until I feel more compassion seeping in and taking over. These hands are mine. Dean Okamura, these hands. These hands have held wandering ladybugs and lifted shovels full of dirt and precious homegrown vegetables. They reached down into the earth at my childhood home, where I felt the moist, rich soil and smelled the fertile aroma of the earth. They worked side by side with my father and my sister as we tended to our family garden and the lush green plants and lawns. These are the hands that hold the garden seed packs with pictures of promise and once planted, grow as the fruits of our labors. These hands have learned how daily diligence is required to raise the best fruits and vegetables. These hands hold stories. These hands are mine. My name is Gladys Soroyan. So, uh, my, uh, these hands have held my ba many babies, some my own, and lifted couches, and um, a cuddly little bear I found on my um, on the day of my father's funeral, which I now consider as a personal family heirloom. Um, they have reached into the earth at my home where I felt the gritty dirt <laughs> and the soft grass. They have worked side by side with my husband and my reluctant son as we pulled weeds and cut single flowers. These are the hands that hold me back from many skills I wish I can master and accomplishments I cannot achieve. These hands have learned that my brain is limited by my very limited practical abilities. Um, these hands hold stories, these hands are mine. Reginald Evans, these hands have held pansies and pansy, and lifted trombones 
and flowers. They have reached down into the earth at Palos Verdes, where I felt soil and sediment natural and unabated. They have worked side by side with my grandfather on precious projects and with my godfather um, and invented many things and nurtured family bonds. These are the hands that hold the story of Midwestern values and integrity. These hands have learned to finish what I have started and these hands hold stories. These hands are my hands. Uh, Gwendolyn Fleischer. These hands have held fine china for dinner parties with people long dead and lifted heavy boxes for moving out of a bad marriage and my son when he was first born. They have reached down into the earth at my childhood home in Gardena, where I felt round pill bugs and had nightmares over them. They worked side by side with my significant other as we decorated the Christmas tree. These are the hands that hold music, the guitar, and the joy of music, and keep going no matter what, hands that hold onto things way too long. These hands have learned to ward off blows and pick up keys and walk away, and hands to cover my ears against screaming and hateful comments, and to just pick up a book and sit in a corner and read. These hands hold stories. These hands are mine. Mary Malone. These hands. These hands have held butterfly wings and lifted slumping shoulders and my lost daughter's warm hands. They have reached down into the earth at Hermosa Beach where I felt the tickling sand crabs and the damp sand splattering to form drip castles with my daughters and granddaughters. They have worked side by side with Daddy as we planted roses and wrote stories while Mother arranged our flowers and typed our clever words. These are the hands that hold tragedy and joy and strength and gratitude. These hands have learned how to hold angel songs close to my heart. These hands hold stories. These hands are mine. Yeah. Joy Feldman. These hands have done an amazing job. For 88 years, they have provided the built-in tools to accomplish a myriad of things. At 14, they picked beans as part of the Victory Farm Cadet Corps in support of World War II effort and uh, weekly brought cookies to the USO. They went on to hold and nurture three precious children who they also fed and supported by flying over typewriter computer keys. They, um, they held books read to happy children, picked them up and held them high to see over the fences at the zoo, applauded loudly at their concerts and graduations, zipped up wedding gowns, held their precious children. As they grew older, they part as these hands grew older, they participated in community service, working as a cashier at a hospice thrift shop. They also learned the joy of picking flowers and vegetables harvested after weeks of digging, weeding, and watering, the feel of the warm earth between their fingers. These hands also keep trying to coax music from the violin my father left. The fingers don't move as quickly as the composers would have liked, but stubborn determination has always been the way of these hands. These hands are mine. John Davis, these hands. These hands have held babies and lifted boxes moving into a new home and put on a wedding ring. I reached down into the earth at a home garden and felt the soil and the plants. They worked side by side with my father and my mother as we decorated a Christmas tree and sang carols. These are the hands that hold com compassion and tolerance. These hands have learned to keep trying. These hands hold stories. These hands are mine. John Edwards, these hands. These hands have held a grasshopper in my father's watch and lifted my mother's player piano and my daughter and son soon after they were born. They reached down into the earth at Torrance Beach with the tide 
where I felt the sand crabs wiggle out of my grasp and the sand dollars round and hard that I threw so they skipped across the waves. They have worked side by side with my father Dick and my brother Rob and built a gazebo in the backyard of my parents' house on Via Pinzon and uh, built forms and poured cement to make a parking spot for my 62 Corvette. These are the hands that hold a pen to record my family's history, shed light on some brilliant figures bypassed by history, and a bass guitar to make music. These hands have learned to work and feel and climb up Butcher Hill. <laughs> we recommend us, these hands. These hands have helped both my newborn boys and lifted my sisters and my heart out of sorrow from our mom's death and shared dreams and wishes. They have reached down into the earth at my birthplace where I felt the solid love of my family and the strength of my spirit. They have worked side by side with coworkers and my family as we be there for each other when life throws us off our path and also celebrate every moment of achievement and happiness. These are the hands that hold hugs given and received and be there for friends and family. These hands have learned compassion for others, curiosity to listen, and care to never give up on self or others. These hands hold stories. These hands are mine. Rosa Kwan Easton, these hands. These hands chose a pencil and lifted immigration suitcases and my newborn babies. They have reached down into the earth at the beach where I felt the cold sand squishy and soft and my tongue licking seaweed lips. They have worked side by side with my grandmother and my mother as we crimp edges of New Year dumplings and sew buttons on my father's shirts. These are the hands that hold tradition dear and revere the natural course of things. These hands have learned hope and perseverance and awe. These hands hold stories. These hands are mine. Deb Ripley, these hands. These hands have held keys to new houses and lifted the heavy hearts of children, leaving friends once again. They have reached down into the earth in many places where I felt the loam or the sand or the stinking muck. They've worked side by side with Randy and Henry and Kate as we figured out how to make each new place home. These are the hands that hold friends close and family closer. These hands have learned that home is where you are and family is what you make it. These hands hold stories. These hands are mine.